Okay, guys, this is a brief demonstration of Sperling's whole versus partial report procedure. Um, it's not going to be perfect because I had to use PowerPoint to do it, but the timing will be pretty close to the original one. Um, so to, to preview, we're going to do the whole report first. So on the next few slides, you're going to see an array of nine letters shown to you in a three by three grid. Right? They're only going to be displayed for a very brief duration, 50 milliseconds, in fact, after which you're going to be asked to recall all of the letters that you can. Okay, so let's do a practice run first so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here come the letters. Okay, it was really quick. Now recall all the letters you can in any order. You can pause the video if you need to. I'm not going to keep waiting for you. Okay, so let's do uh, a run of four trials here, okay? They're going to be fast like that, so the letters are going to be up there quickly, so make sure you're paying attention to the screen. Don't pause the video and write down the letters. That's cheating. Let it go through. Write down all that you can, okay? This is a test of iconic memory. All right, um, real quickly, uh, in case you were curious, these were the letters that you just saw. So if you, if you got all of them, you got 100%, right? So this is the way we're going to go through it. Letters, then we score it. Letters, then we score it. Okay, so now let's do a few of these, uh, a few of these uh, to get an average performance, okay? Trial one. Okay, write them all down. Remember, pause the video, write them down, then move forward. Okay, how'd you do? Score your performance. Did you get one right, two right, three right, four right, five right? Did you get all nine right? Write down the percentage that corresponds to how many you got correct. Then, let's do trial two. All right, here we go. Okay, again, pause, write them down. How'd you do? Record your score. Okay, record your score for this. I want to know the data. Trial three, here we go. All right, pause, write them down. How'd you do? All right, again, record the data. All right, trial four. One more. All right, write them all down. Again, how'd you do? Score it. Write down all four of these now, okay? You should have four different percentages for trials one, two, three, and four. Get an average. Add those four together, divide by the number four, write down that average percentage. This is how well you did for the whole report procedure. In case you're feeling bad about your performance, don't. That should have been very difficult. You should have done very poorly at that, okay? Now let's try the partial report procedure. Now I only want you to report back one singular row of that three by three grid. The problem is you're not gonna know which row until after I take the grid away. Okay, so I'm going to show you the grid, nine letters, three by three, only displayed for a brief duration, just like before, but immediately after it goes off, you will hear a tone, okay? The tone will either be very high-pitched, in which case I want you to recall the letters from the top row, or it might be a medium pitch, in which case you're going to recall the letters from the middle row, or it might be a low pitch, and you are to recall the letters from the bottom row, okay? So let's hear the tones first so that you know which ones are which, okay? This is a high pitch tone, medium pitch tone, low pitch tone. All right, let's do it one more time. High pitch tone, medium pitch tone, low pitch tone. All right, hopefully this part works. Now we're going to do it with a three by three letters, and then you'll hear the tone afterwards. Now that you know the tones, here's what you're going to see. All right, trial five, here come the letters. How'd you do? All right, trial six, here come the letters. How'd you do? Remember, you should be pausing the video, writing down the letters, scoring your performance here based on how many you got correct. Trial seven, here we go. How'd you do? All right. Last one. How'd you do that time? Okay. So add up your score from each of those four trials, divide by four. This is your average score for the partial report procedure when the delay between the letters and the tone is nearly zero. Okay. Pretty much right after the letters go away. Now let's try it with a longer delay. Okay. Trial nine. Here are the letters. How'd you do? All right, remember pausing after the letters so you can write them down. 
scoring your performance, recording all of these. How about that? Did you do that one well? All right, score it, record it. Trial 11, just two more left, this one and one more. Letters. How'd you do? All right, last one. Letters, here we go. Write them down. And how'd you do that time? Okay, add those four up, divide those by four. You now have three averages. You have an average for whole report, an average for partial report when the delay was near zero, and an average for partial report when the t delay was about one and a quarter seconds. What you should find is that your performance on the two partial reports differ dramatically, such that you are considerably better when the delay is near zero. That's because you still have access to that visual information for about a quarter of a second, according to Sperling's original study, which means that as long as that tone comes immediately after the display goes away, you can still access that iconic memory and report back those letters. When it gets longer, at about uh, one and a quarter seconds, this becomes near impossible. So you probably find your performance to be quite poor in that last block of trials. All right, that is George Sperling's whole versus partial report. Cheers.